Well, hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the workbench. Got something to show you guys. I uh, picked up a new reel yesterday, and it is the Pin Spinfisher 7. This is the latest uh, and greatest Spinfisher. Uh, this came out. I know they uh, showed it off at uh, iCast a couple months ago. So this is the Spin Fisher 7 2500. I uh, was very excited to get my hands on this. So let me tell you a little bit about it. Uh, gear ratio is 6.2 to 1. So that's not too bad. That's a pretty high gear ratio. Uh, line capacity on this thing is uh, mono, six pound, 255 yards, uh, eight pound, 175 yards, 10 pound, 140 yards. It'll hold braid, uh, 10 pound, 240 yards, 15 pound, 200 yards, excuse me, 220 yards, and 20 pound of 160 yards. It uh, advertises at a weight of 11 ounces. So let's check it now. I don't know if they, they weigh it without line on it, but we have this spooled in some Dawa J8 braid. That is, uh, that's 15 pounds. So let's grab our scale. And see what we got here. Cut it on, we're at zero, set it up, so with line on it, you know, the braid's not that heavy, it is 11.5 ounces, 11.5 ounces. Get this out of the way. Um, it also is, let me see the spool. You'll look right here, it is IPX5 sealed. Now, IP is a rating that they give phones and all kinds of stuff. So this has a rating of 5, and that's pretty good. Uh, so it's got a sealed body and spool. Got a brass main gear. Now, that's one difference between the Spinfisher 7 and the Spinfisher 6. The Spinfisher 6 had a, of course, a brass um, pinion gear, but it had a CNC'd aluminum main gear. Now with the Spinfisher 7, still has the brass pinion gear, but it has a CNC'd brass main gear. And of course we know brass is going to hold up longer than aluminum. Uh, it has the HT100 drag system with the carbon fiber drag uh, washers. It's 5 plus 1 sealed stainless steel ball bearing system. So it's all sealed. And what they'll do, guys, it's not made to dunk in the water and reel it, but it's made for heavy splash, heavy spray, and... Uh, that was something I was looking for, something that would, would keep that salt water out of the main components of this reel. Now it's got full metal body. Like I said, it's full metal. So that does make it a little heavier, but it's not as heavy as I thought it would be. And I'm sure if you get up into the, the bigger reels, and they, I think these do go up to, I think maybe a 10,000 series, which is a pretty good size reel. It does have the super line spool on it, so you can put braid on it. It's got the, the rubber band around it, so you can connect braid to it. Um, <clears throat> a couple of things about this, and I watched some footage from my cast, and what people really like, and I like it, is the line keeper. And that's right here. Right here. See how that looks a lot different than, say, Let's look at this one. You can see that one. Looks a lot different, doesn't it? So you're able to put thinner line or thicker line on it 
and it's easier to get it in there. So that's uh, that's one of the things I like about it, and I do like that that brass main gear. You get this handle on it, of course. Uh, I've ordered another one for it. I've got getting the uh, the Gomexis. Got the gold one. It's going to match the. It's a good looking reel. Good looking reel. And uh, I'm very excited to have it. So what we're going to do, we're going to take this thing, we're going to go down to the water. And we're going to cast it a little bit. Uh, conditions are not the best today. But we're going to try it anyway. Because, you know, got to. It's a new reel. I got, I got to get out there and cast it and see how it does. Uh, if you guys will uh, come with me, we'll step out. And uh, cast this thing a few times. See you out there. All right, guys. So we're down here. Uh, not the best conditions. Really windy. Uh, overcast. Not calling for any rain, but wind is blowing. Um, I've got the kayak loaded up, but it's just it's just too windy. Uh, I'd be just fighting the wind. But we are down here with the pin spin fisher seven uh, like i said this is a new reel uh, i think it was introduced at icast a couple months ago and i picked one up and uh, we're down here just to toss it around a little bit see how it does um, I've got this mounted on a Bubba Title Select 7 foot medium light uh, fast action. Um, no, this is a medium, medium light, medium fast action. Uh, very nice rod. So we're just going to chunk it around a little bit. Uh, the reel feels really good. It's not as heavy as I thought it would be. Feels good. Of course, uh, like other pin reels when you first take it out of the box it, it's a little stiff but you got to work it a little bit you know i guess it's kind of a break-in period but um feels good feels good uh well balanced on this this bubble of rod um don't know if we're gonna catch anything uh, this is where my uh, hook and lost that flounder of a lifetime. But um, feels good, feels good. Now this is not the stock handle. Uh, I'll put that on there. I've got another one coming for it. But uh, yeah, feels good. Feels really good. All right, so we'll see you back on the work bench. So there we go, guys. Um, I like it. I like it. And like I talked about when I was out on the water, you know, when you, you first take these things out of the box, pin packs a lot of grease in here. And uh, it doesn't, you know, just from that short time out there, I can tell the difference already. Um, when it gets broke in good, you know, like these are, very very smooth and I like it I really do like it now where can you get this well there's there's several places you can get you can get it at Melton um, but you cannot get it at at Penn's website now you can get it with a rod and a combo you can get that but like I said in my previous video, you know, I'm not crazy about pin rods as far as inshore goes. Offshore rods, they got some decent rods. I'll tell you where I got this at. I got this from Salt Strong. And I got a hefty discount on it. And so I'm, I'm going to drop a link down below to where you can go 
If you want to join Salt Strong, that'd be great. But if not, even even the general public's price on these is outstanding. You won't you won't find it uh, at a price like that anywhere else. I don't think so. So big shout out to Salt Strong. And when you buy it now, you you have to be a member when you buy it to get it spooled. This is uh this is some Dawa um, J8 line, very nice line. But all in all, guys, I think it's a great reel. Especially for the price I got it at. Now, as you see in the video, I had it paired with a Bubba Title Select spinning rod. And uh, we're going to do a video on that rod. But I can tell you right now, I love that rod. Matter of fact, I just ordered another one. So, uh, not the same. It's a, you know, that one was a medium uh, fast. I got a medium heavy fast. So, but as far as the Spin Fisher 7 goes, I love it. I love it. So, I do have a new power handle coming for it. It's going to be all gold. And uh, I really like these. But, guys, yes, I do, do highly suggest this. This is. You know, this is not a pen slammer. It's not in that price range. You could probably get this for at the $200 mark easily. So that's my thoughts on the Spin Fisher 7. Great reel from Pen. I love Pen reels. So like I said, guys, I'm going to drop that link to where you can go check out Salt Strong. Now, it's not a link to this reel. It's a link to Salt Strong. And you can join or not, but you will still get a great discount on this Spin Fisher 7. All right, guys, so that's what I've got for today, the Pin Spin Fisher 7. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will definitely catch you guys later.